So in the previous video, I made this nice little method that would just go through all the delegates in this in the invocation list and store all the values and then return them. I want to I want to improve upon this example a little bit. One first thing, well, one problem is this temporary list here that I'm making and then adding all the values and returning them. Hopefully, you're quick to recall from the yield videos. I could just yield return here instead. So yield return. There's a nice improvement okay let the compiler worry about or, or worry about the details there and then instead of list let's go even a little bit more abstract and say i enumerable all right but now i'm still stuck to this int and this me delegate thing so i want to i want to generify this or parameterize the type and and generics are a good place to do that so i'm saying delegate instead of saying well let's let's keep it here uh instead of saying int here i'm going to say t and then I'm going to say T here, all right? So now me delegate is capable of uh, of taking or, or returning any type because I generified it here. Um, so now down here I have to say, uh, let's make this generic as well. And then I'm going to say me delegate of T. So now I've generified my method to take any type because me delegate can take any type. And then I'm going to return any type. And of course, now when I use the type name here, I have to be explicit and use the full type name because it's a generic type. Again, go look at the generic videos if this isn't the old hat for you. But basically, I have me delegate and I'm passing T here, which is this T. It's kind of confusing because there's a lot of T's going on here. In fact, I'm going to take the I'm going to make this T arg, all right? And I'm passing T arg here, and I'm passing T arg here, and passing T arg there. All right, so now when I say uh, me delegate D here, I'm going to make one that takes ints because that's what all these return five, return tens are. And then I say get all return values. I can pass int as the type here, but the compiler is smart enough to infer that oh well, it takes a me delegate uh, of some generic type, and I know that D is the, its generic type is int, so I'm going to replace this with int. So you as the programmer no longer need to say that. You can just all infer it. That's the compiler being nice to us, which is kind of nice. But now I have this nice generic get all return values method that can take take a me delegate that that as long as it's parameterless, it'll go through and invoke them uh, uh, one by one and then return whatever the return types are. So again, let's run this. The results are still the same. So that's kind of nice. It just so turns out that that uh, it's quite common to need some generic delegates. In fact, all delegate types can be superimposed or or uh, satisfied with just a few generic delegate types. And so let me show you, uh, instead of saying me delegate, I'm not going to actually declare mine here. I'm going to say action. All right? And then down here instead, I'm going to replace everywhere where you see me delegate with action. And we need one here. And I believe what's the overload for return five matches delegate. Forgive me, I said action where I should have said funk. There's there's two generic delegate types. There's action and funk, and I'll tell you the difference here real quickly. But let me just replace all these with funk, short I presume for function, and technically functions return values. Build succeeded, good. Whereas actions return void. Anyway, see the results are the same. Now I'm gonna put my cursor here and head F12 to view the metadata. You can also right click and say go to definition F12. Uh, and if we look at this, funk is just a generic delegate that takes uh, one argument. The out thing you can go look at the generic videos again. But basically, it takes a generic argument just like me delegate did. The me delegate that I deleted and replaced with funk. And so it takes takes one type parameter and that type parameter is what's returned. Notice there's no argument to func here. Um, but there's more than one type of func. Func, if you look here, when I say func, func and I open it up, there's some overloaded on the number of type arguments you can pass. So func, looks like there's a t result and then there's a t and then there's a t1 and a t2. Notice t results just go into the end. t1, t2, t3, t1, t2, t4, t3, t4. T5, T6, T7, T8, T9. Wow, they went to town here. I wonder how high they went. Actually, last time I checked, it was only four, but looks like it's going all the way. 16 of 17. Wow, Funk can take up to 
16 arguments. And notice the last argument here, the 17th argument, one based, is the return type. Okay? So if I say func uh, int bool f, well, f's got to reference something that will take an int and return a bool. Okay? So let's make this an actual method down here. Uh, it needs to return a bool, and it needs to take an int. Okay? But if I say, let's do string here. Well, now I have string. Well, now it has to take an int and a string and return a boolean. So let's do string s, put this method name down here. And so hopefully you're getting the the right idea. Oh, I'm not returning anything. That's why I still got the reg squigglies. Let's just return false. Make the compiler happy. Okay? Anyway, so that's that's nice. Funk Funk allows us to just it's it's a generic delegate. We don't need to declare any more other any other delegate types. We can just say funk everywhere if we're returning something. If we're not returning something, then that's when action comes into play. So action A, I can assign A to main. Main takes no arguments and returns void. In fact, let's click on action, hit F12, and go look at the metadata. See it? Turns void, takes no arguments. All right. But I could also, I bet, this will go up to, yep, 1 of 16. This overloads all the way up to whew, 16 generic arguments. So, I mean, if your function has more than three or four, you probably should scratch your head a little bit and think, oh, is there a better way of doing this? But anyway, wow. So a any any method can be satisfied. I can point either an action or a func to it as long as I fill in these generic arguments good enough. So let's let's do, I don't know, string here. All right, so this has to take a string and return void. The reason it has to return void is it's now an action. All right, so static void, uh, take a string, return void, pop, string s, and we're golden. Okay, so one of the silly little interview questions I'll ask just to see how sharp a, a potential candidate is, is I'll ask them if they know the difference between func func and action. And the only difference is func can have a return argument uh, versus action always returns void. Anyway, so there you go. We cleaned up this nice uh, function that runs through and yield returns all the uh, return values and then we also got a taste of funk and action.